Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss another example for constructing the minimal DFA so that you will understand the concept in a better way. So let me read out the question. Construct a minimal DFA over alphabets A comma B for a long base L1 contains strings ending with B. Okay. In the last video, we have discussed contain string starting with B. Now we are solving its strings ending with B. Okay, so first if I want to construct the DFA, first I need to find the long base L1 consists of the strings. What are the strings possible or belongs to the long base L1? The smallest one is B because it will end with B itself because the B will end with the B. Now AB, AB is ending with B. Okay, so length 1 is B, length 2 is AB then bb these are the two strings possible of length 2 and ending with b now we will see a a b is allowed and a b b is allowed b a b is allowed b b b is allowed so these are the three strings possible over length 3 and ending with alphabet b so and we will have length 4, length 5, so on, it will be there. So first tell me one thing, whether it is a finite long base or infinite long base. It is an infinite long base. Now we will start constructing the DFA because we found that what are the strings belongs to long base L1. So now if you see that we will construct the minimal DFA. There is an initial state called Q0. The smallest one if you take is B. So if I take B, it should reach to the final state called q1 is it clear the smallest string is b so from the initial state taking the b you should reach to the final state once you reach to the final state then i can say that b is accepted now if you see that a b should be accepted is it clear a b should be accepted a a b should be accepted 3 a s b should be accepted and 4 a s b so on it should be accepted so Meaning is that any it can start with any number of A's and finally it should have the B. So can I write like this? From the initial state Q0, I am going to Q0 itself. Then I am coming to the Q1. Let's see whether AB is accepted or not. From Q0, if I take A, I will go to the state called Q0. Is okay. From Q0 on B, I am going to a state called Q1. So after traversing the entire string from the initial state q0 i am reaching to a state called q1 whether q1 is a final state or not yes q1 is a final state then what i can say this is accepted it should be accepted because it belongs to the long base l1 a a b two a's i will be in the q0 if i take another b i will go to q1 it is also a final state even three a's b's it will reach to the state q1 so all it can start with any number of A's and ending with B, it is accepting. Okay, so these are the strings we have identified. Now we will see. We will go for this one. A, A, B. Okay, then A, A, B, B, B. A, B, 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 B. So these all the strings are also ending with B's. Is it clear? A, B, B is accepting. A, B, B, B is accepting. A, 4, B is also accepting. Then what should I do? Is it clear? If you see this one, how I can write? If I write B here, what will happen? We will see. If you take A, B, B, Q0, let me discuss. A, B, B is there. Q0 on A. I am going to a state called Q1. Q1 on B, I am going to a state called Q1. Q1 on B, I am going to a state called Q1. So finally, I have reached to the final state. So A, B, B is accepted. Or A, 4, B, A, 3, B, A, 4, B is also will be accepted. Meaning is that A followed by any number of B's will be ending with the B. So they should be belongs to this one. Even 2As, 2Bs also should be accepted. Whether it is accepting or not. 2As, it will be there in Q0. On 1B, you will come to Q1. On another B, you will be in the Q1. So, it is accepting. Now, we will see the another thing. 
whether it is a complete DFA or not, it is not a complete DFA because on Q0, on A and B, you are telling where it is. But from Q1 on B itself, you are told what about A. Now listen carefully. When you will come to the this state Q1, after traversing AB, then you will come to the state called B. If I see another A, what will happen? That is what you need to look. Because from Q1, if you see another A, where you should go? If you go to the dead state, lot of people will think, sir, it is ending with B, so it should not end with A. That's what lot of will think. Then they will write a state called a dead state. Because we have discussed so many examples with the dead state. Then they will write it. But we will check whether it is right or wrong. A, B, A. Okay. So Q0 on A, it will be in Q0. Q0 on B, it will come to Q1. Q1 on A, it will go to the dead state. This is okay. Sir, you can say that it is reaching to a non-final state. So it is not accepted. So prob no problem is there. But I want to ask another question. Let's see this one. You have A, B, A, B. Now tell me whether A, B, A, B string is belongs to long base L1 or not. Yes, it is belongs to long base L1 because it is ending with B. We will see this case. From Q0 on A, where you will go? Q0 itself. Q0 on B, where you will go? Q1. From Q1 on A, where you are going? To the dead state called D. From D on B, where you will go? You will go to D itself. Now tell me one thing. Whether it is reaching to the final state or non-final state. It is reaching to the non-final state. If it is reaching to a non-final state, what I can say? It is not accepted. If it is not accepted, then whatever the DFA we have constructed is wrong. Because we, you said that you have constructed the DFA for this long ways. But one of the string which belongs to long ways L1 is not accepted. So I can say that this DFA is not accepting some of the strings in the long ways L1. Am I right or wrong? So I can say that whatever the DFA I have constructed is wrong. Now that's why I have erased this one. We will see. If I write here, what will happen? Is it clear? Or before writing this one, let me write here. Means Q0 on A and B it is going to Q0 and Q1 respectively. From Q1 on A and B it is going to Q1 itself. We will see what is the problem with this one. Okay. Let's see A, B, A. Whether A, B, A should belong to this long ways L1? No, it does not belong to long ways L1 because it is ending with A. We will see if it is ending with A and it does not belong to long ways L1, then what my DFA should do? It should not accept. If it is accepting, then my DFA is wrong. We will see this one. From Q0, on taking A, you are in the state called Q0. From Q0 on B, you are going to a state called Q1. From Q1 on A, you are going to Q1 itself. Whether Q1 is a final state or non-final state. Q1 is a final state. If it is a final state, what is the meaning? This string is accepted by my DFA. But it should not accept because it does not belong to long ways L1. So even this one is wrong. So what is the other possibility? You go here. Okay, now we will see. A, B, A is accepting or not. If you see that on A you will be in Q0, on B you will come to Q1, from again from Q1 on A you will go to Q0. So you will reach to a Q0 which is a non-final state. If it is a non-final state, what I can say? It is not accepted and it does not belong to long base L1. So it is correct. We will take another string, A, B, B. Whether A, B, B is accepted? A, B and B, it is accepted. We will see A, B, A, B. Whether A, B, A, B should be accepted or not. Yes, it should be accepted because it is ending with B. Q0 on A, you are in Q0. Q0 on B, you came to the Q1. Q1 on A, you came to Q0. Q0 on B, you have reached to the state called Q1. Are you able to follow it or not? See, Q0 on A, I am in Q0 itself. Q0 on B, I came to Q1 state. Q1 on A, I am going to Q0. Q0 on B, I am coming to the final state called B, Q1. So it is a final state. I can say that it is accepted. 
So you can take anything, any long ways which belongs to this long ways L1 will be accepted by this DFA. If you take any string which does not belong to this long ways L1 will not be accepted. If you want to do it, check it. You can check it. If anywhere, uh, any string which does not belong to long ways L1 is accepted, you can give me in the comment section. I will verify it. Okay. I hope you have understood how I constructed the minimal DFA. Please remember one thing. I am constructing the minimal DFA. So only one DFA is possible. If I am constructing the DFA, you can have more than one DFA. And I request you to practice the DFAs also. Is it clear? So that you can be good at constructing the DFAs and minimal DFAs. Thank you so much.